best disciples. As the Father loves me, so I also love you. Remain in my love. If you keep my commandments, you will remain in my love. Just as I have kept my Father's commandments and remain in His love. I have told you this so that my joy might be in you and your joy might be complete. This is my commandment. Love one another as I have loved you. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated and listen to the Holy Day. My dear brothers and sisters, in a few moments, we will witness the exchange of love between Carmelo and Maria Christine. The love that they are about to declare before us is no simple, no ordinary love. In fact, it is the most special love or kind of love, a most sacred type of love. Certain spiritual writers have called it unconditional love. And here, when you say unconditional love, the stress is not on the word love. Take note, Carmelo and Maria Christine. It's on unconditional, not on the word love. The focus is on that word unconditional. My dear Carmelo and Christine, you will be promising to one another that from this on, you will love each other unconditionally. And what does unconditional loving mean? Unconditional loving simply means this. Yes, I will love you always, no matter what. I will love you always, even if I will love you always, whatever happens. Whatever happens to me, whatever happens to you, whatever happens tomorrow. My dear brothers and sisters, the love of Carmelo and Christine for one another will either be conditional or unconditional. And there is no third way. Wala pong iba. Kundi unconditional or conditional. Depende po yun sa kanilang dalawa. There is no third possibility. Either you set conditions and you attach conditions to your love or do not. To the extent that you do set conditions, then you do not really love. This is the difficult and the problem with love that is not unconditional. With a love that is not unconditional, one is loved because one's merit. That love is love because one supposedly, supposedly has deserved it. And may I add this one? Conditional love is like this. I love you because you love me. I love you because I need you. I love you because you are good to me. I love you because I feel good loving you. I love you because you are cute. I love you because you are rich. I love you because you are popular and powerful. I love you because I can use you, manipulate you, and exploit you for my own interest. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, deserve love, deserve conditional love always leaves that doubt, even that fear. The fear of loving the love of one's beloved. 
deserve conditional love easily leaves a painful feeling that is not love for oneself. That one is loved because and only because one pleases. Precisely, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, conditional love is nothing else but manipulative and that is a selfish love. And this kind of love, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, has no place in Christian marital commitment. That's why the best symbol of love as a Christian is the cross. And you will see Christ on that cross. And that is about self-giving. When Jesus offered his life for the world, and that is the greatest love that we can find, not in the dictionary, but only in the scripture. For God so loved the world that He gave His only Son. And that is the real definition of unconditional love. Self-giving. And that is the model of every relationship in every marital relationship. That's why Carmelo and Christine, huwag mong sabihin at huwag yung sasabihin, ano ba ang nakita ko sa'yo at ano ang makukuha ko sa'yo? kundi ano ang maibibigay ko sa iyo at handa kong ibigay ang aking pagmamahal dahil kaya kong ibigay ang buong pagmamahal ko sa iyo pati ang buhay ko and that is the reflection of the love of God to the church my dear friends my dear brothers and sisters on the other hand on the other hand true unconditional love is and must always be a free or total gift and that is why all of us are here this afternoon, Carmelo and Mary Christine. We are all here to witness, and not only to witness, but to celebrate because of your love to each other. To celebrate your unconditional gift of love to one another with your free gift of unconditional love, condition, unconditional love you are really declaring to one another you are really declaring to one another what you are really declaring to one another is this I want to share with you whatever I have that is good and beautiful you did not prove worthy of this gift it is not a question of deserving my love or earning my love I have no illusions, no delusions that either of us is the best person in the world. I do not even suppose that all the available persons, we are the most compatible. Perhaps somewhere out there, there is someone who is more fit for you or more suited for me. But then, that is not the point. The point is that I have freely chosen you. I have decided to give you my gift of unconditional love and you have freely chosen to love me. Yun dapat ang sinasabi niyo sa isa't isa. Given all this, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, we see that the gift of unconditional love is something not cheap. It can never be cheap. Hindi po yan mabibili sa sampang keta. That's why it's price of one's very own life. No more, no less. Kaya nga po kung makikita po natin ng cross, priceless po yan. Dahil po binigay ng ating Panginoong Kanyang buhay at wala po makakatumbas na kayamanan sa pagbibigay niya ng pagmamahal niya sa mundo. He said also with you, Carmelo and Christine, you are the reflection of God's love. Carmelo and Christine, that is why in the eyes of the Holy Mother Church, it is sacrament. Meaning, yung pagmamahal nila ay nandun po ang Diyos. My third party. Bakit? Ano nga nagsap ng sacrament? Ang presensya ng ating Panginoon ay nag-invisible in the celebration. 
That's why marriage and masco and wedding must is very important for all of us. Why? Because it's a relationship never hindi pa madali. That's why we need the blessing of God. If we receive that blessing, then all struggles, all problems ay ating pagkakaya. Because God is with us. And that is the promise of Jesus that He will be with us till the end of time. And if we invoke, and if we invoke the, the, the name of God, then we are asking Him to be part of this relationship that makes this celebration sacred. The presence of Jesus is being present in the celebration and He will be part of the relationship of Carmelo and Christine. Unlike po sa ibang celebration na nagkakasal o nagsasama na wala pong basbas ng Diyos, hindi pa po yun. Hindi po yun nagiging sacrament. God is not present on that relationship. Kaya nga po, karamihan ay nagigive up. Pero kung ang Diyos ay kasama natin, I tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, Carmelo and Christine, wag na wag niyong kakalimutan tawagin ng Diyos. And He will always be with you. And He will always protect your marriage, your relationship. Carmelo and Christine, this should always be your message to each other. Yes, I love you always, no matter what, even if. I will love you always, whatever happens to me, whatever happens to you, whatever happens tomorrow. And may our faithful God grace you now and forever. Dearly beloved, Carmelo, Fernando, and Maria Christine, you are here today to seal your love with an eternal bond before the church. I assure you of the prayers of our community that God pour His abundant blessings on your love and help you to carry out the duties of the married state. Carmelo and Christine, may I now ask you to answer truthfully the following questions. Maria Christine, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your husband? Yes, Father. Carmelo Fernando, did you come here of your own free will to bind yourself forever in the love and service of your wife? Yes, Father. Carmelo, Fernando, and Maria Christine, are you both ready to raise as good Christians the children whom God will give you? Yes, Father. Yes, Father. Carmelo, Fernando, and Maria Christine, since you wish to contract holy matrimony, please join your right hands and express your intention before God and His Church. Maria Christine, do you take Carmelo Fernando here present for your lawful husband according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to him as his wife? Yes, I do. Do you accept him as your lawful husband? Yes, I do. Carmelo Fernando, do you take Maria Christine here present for your lawful wife according to the right of our Holy Mother, the Church? Yes, I do. Do you give yourself to her as her husband? Yes, I do. Do you accept her as your lawful wife? Yes, I do. Grant us, O Lord, to be one heart and one soul, from this day forward, for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, until death was born. Then, bear this ring as a sign of my love and loyalty. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Carmelo, wear this ring as a sign of my love and loyalty in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Christine, I give you this array as a pledge of my dedication to your welfare. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And I accept them.
congratulations sa inyo. After all the wait, uh, kasal na kayo. And just know, uh, we are friends are always here for you. Uh, just always keep in mind sa magiging married life nyo, there will always be ups and downs. And always support, support each other through it. So, katulad yung sabi ng, sa church kanina, always love each other unconditionally. We're always just one call away. And again, congratulations. Cheers. Not yet, not yet. Wait lang, wait lang. Guys, ako muna. <laughs> Hi, good evening everyone. I would like to thank everyone for their presence. So, um, first of all, congratulations. Um, finally, as what Nicolo said, natuloy na din yung pinakahihintay nating lahat. Um, I just want to congratulate you both kasi this is a milestone in your lives. And I'm so happy that I really got to witness everything from the first na part ng relationship ninyo at up until now. So I'm very proud of the people you have become because it really was a character development for you both. Because people change and I'm proud to say that you both changed for the better. So I'm really not good sa mga gantong relationship advice but all I can say is just be patient with one another and you love each other unconditionally. So, yun lang. Mahal ko kayo and we're really happy na nadagdagan kami ng brother sa family. Thank you. Love, patience, understanding, and trust in each other are the key to the years of happiness that lie ahead. And to remind you, married life isn't about not having bad times. It's about staying together through them. Be kind, gentle with each other. Every situation or problem can be resolved in a civilized way. You know me, Tintin. This is from our experience for being married with your Tito Manny for 33 years. I love you, Tintin. And I love you too, Carmelo, because you are now a part of our family. Tita Ken, this is for Tita Candy and Tito Manny. Kasi married na kami ni, ng aming, ng wife ko si Grace ng 31 years. Advice ko lang po, uh, Carmelo, laging, uh, always say yes and I will. Para walang gulo at walang away. <laughs> Congratulations and best wishes. Congratulations, Carmelo and Christine. Uh, First of all, I wanna I wanna say how how beautiful the parents of the groom are this evening, and of course how beautiful the parents of the bride are also this evening, and both of you, you look really great. Uh, your Ines and I, uh, when when we learned that you were going to get married, we just said. Uh, Wow, buti na lang mag-aasawa na sila. You know, just just a short ano, no? When w I got I got married when I was 28 years old. And you know, what I learned when I got married at 28 is everything became clearer. Where I was supposed to go, what I was supposed to do. And if I knew what I knew lang when I got married at 28, I would have gotten married, I told myself, I would have gotten married earlier. So I'm glad, I'm glad you guys both got married. And I think now is the start of a very clear relationship where you want to go and where to do. Just make sure that God is in the middle of your marriage always. And all the crisis and all the, all the difficulties that we went through life with Ines our, and our marriage, when we put God in front of us, we always went through them very well. So, congratulations and put God in the middle of your marriage. Thank you. Yeah, I see. <laughs> um, God bless. First of all, congratulations, Atit Din and Kuya Carmelo. Um, Atit Din has always been my roommate, like ever since at home in Zambales till 
we moved in Manila and then we decided to move out of the dorm. We still decided to move in together. And every, well, not every night, but as much as we can, we always greet each other. Good night and I love you. Um, I hope <laughs> um, you continue that habit because like it's, it's it's uh, no, it's important to remind each other how much you love each other every day, and I hope that um, you don't let a day pass with a heavy heart. And um, ever since Kuya Carmela, I really saw you as a kuya, and I'm so happy because you've been so patient to my ate. <laughs> But like, I I really admire you for your patience, and I like admire your how do you say this? Your connection. Um, I really wish you the best, and I hope you guys have a happy marriage. Love you both. Hi, hi, Ate. Hi, Kuya. Um, congratulations na na tuloy na to in the past few weeks na na ito din so um, sa, sana yung inisip ko yung yung meron yung magkaroon na yung ayaw sabihin so, congratulations. I love you. I love you, both of you. Hi, Ate and Kuya. Congratulations. Um, uh, thank you so much for everything, for always. Um, thank you so much for always being there for me. <laughs> Sayo din, Ate. <laughs> um, you know how much... <laughs> um, you know how much I've always wanted to have an Ate and... Sobrang thankful ako kasi... <clears throat> when we got to know each other nung nag-stay ka sa house, na feel ko na meron akong Ate, na meron akong pwedeng... <clears throat> Lapitan. So thank you so much, and thank you then, Kuya, for <clears throat> yeah for everything. Yun lang. Um, I'll always be here for you, and I love you both. Congratulations. Kailangan ko pa batong gawin. Um, masayang masaya lang ako para sa inyong dalawa. Finally. The moment you've been waiting for has arrived, and I'm so glad. Kaya ako na iiya, kaya ako miya kasi eh. Ngayon ko lang nakita si Carmelo na ganyan kasayatin. And I am so happy for him and for you too. Tin, um, allow allow me to be. To be mayabang tonight, ha, for my son. Alam mo kung gano kaswete ka kay, kay kuya. Um, he was so loving and kind to his four siblings as as their kuya. He was, he is a good son, a very good son and a very good brother. And so, I'm sure he'll make a very good husband. And Kuya, I can see in Tin a very good wife. That's why I pray for this moment to come. You'll make a wonderful couple. And Isa lang ang pakiusap ko sa inyong dalawa. Make your marriage more beautiful than your wedding. I love you both. I love you very much.
Thank you. First of all, uh, good, good evening, everyone. Nauna, uh, <clears throat> congratulations to both of you, Tin, Melo. Uh, Ten years, diba? or so. <clears throat> even even without uh, Melo saying it or approaching me, alam ko yung may mga ups and downs kayo eh. No? And I know it, no? Pag, when he goes home, na pag Melo medyo down, no? and sinabi ko nga sa kanya, uh, Ngayon talaga, di ba? If you want to to build a relationship, kailangan talaga tanggapin mo lahat, di ba? And then, to the years na kasama kayo, alam mo naman yun, di ba? Pag may problema, you can, di ba? Open na open tayo. So, yun lang ang, ang aking tinadasal uh, no, sa Diyos na just hold on to each other. No? Ten years na kayo na mag... Uh, and now... Pinag, pinagsama na kayo ni Lord. No? So, yun lang ang akin na magsama lang kayo ng maayos. Na, no? And of course, to the uh, Magsaysay family, to the Magsaysay clan, uh, thank you very much po sa inyong lahat. Uh, from the bottom of my heart, thank you po sa inyo for accepting my, you know, my son. And uh, I will help him in, ever, in whatever way I can to prove his worth. Thank you so much po. Uh, in behalf of the father of Christine, I hope and pray that uh, you could have a uh, good future for uh, both of you. Uh, because it is uh, on both of you that lies the uh, future of each of you to, to have a uh, healthy family. Uh, I hope uh, and pray that uh, even though you're uh, married now, our uh, relationships as a, a father of my daughter and uh, you being my son-in-law, would be more uh, more uh, closer and i also thank your uh, father and your mother for sharing the good uh, ideals in uh, bringing you up and uh, being a part of uh, our family uh, good evening everybody good evening to everyone and first of all maraming salamat po sa mga dumalo mga kamag-anak kaibigan ni latin at Actually, ang tawag namin sa kanya is Tin. Okay. O, oh, wag na daw. Stop na daw. Okay, first of all, uh, thankful kami sa family ni Melo, the Navarro family and the relatives. Um, message ko lang, uh, thankful din kami dahil Melo is a good uh, uh, dati boyfriend ni Tin, kaya Talagang grateful naman ako kasi maayos siyang uh, bilang boyfriend. Eh, lalo na siguro ngayon, asawa na ni Tin. Uh, Tin, uh, bukod sa wife, uh, ikaw na rin yung ilaw ng tahanan na magpupuno kung ano man ang kakulungan ni Melo bilang asawa. Kaya nga, tayo ang ilaw ng tahanan. Okay, maraming salamat po. Heavenly Father, we come before you this day. Lord, we rejoice with Carmelo and Christine. Not only is it a day that you have made for them, but Lord, today marks, as has been said, 
the start of something beautiful, something wonderful. Father, I am so refreshed personally that to see a young couple come together in the bonds of holy matrimony. It is something beautiful not only in the eyes of man, but before your eyes, I do believe. It is something sacred, as has been said. It is something holy. And Father, today we speak your grace, your blessing to be upon them. May their journey be made more complete as, as it's been said, as you are put in the center of their lives. Lord, may you be the anchor of their love. May you be the source of their passion. May you be the one who will be there to guide them, to protect them, to keep them strong together in your love. Bind them, I pray, in your love. May their years together be a testimony of your goodness, your faithfulness. And Lord, once again, we speak the blessing that only can come from you. May you bless their union, the fruit of the womb, with children, Lord God, that they desire. And Lord, may generation upon generation uh, just be a testimony of the blessing that you have upon them. May the offspring that comes from this union be a testimony even of your blessing and your love for them. Once more, we thank you. Once more, we speak your blessing to be upon them. All this we pray in the mighty name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. God bless you. para hindi mag-reply. Mm. That's it. I Thank hope you. you like it. Ooh. <laughs> so fake. Nice. Here's my gift. It's the bag that I want. Yeah. So, I bought the bag that you want because now that we're married, Marami nang lalagyan for my stuff. Thank you. Yeah. So actually, uh, we we met December of 2011. So it's in a it's in a party. We don't know anyone, and dahil lang sa simple bump na yon, parang who would have thought na mag end up kami ngayon na we're getting married. We exchanged our our contact details. Then we started, you know, we started communicating. And then there, I thought it was a fling, parang fling fling lang, wala lang, we're not serious sa isa't isa. But then, um, na-realize namin na parang habang tumatagal, oh my gosh, this is really serious. Well, hot and heavy pumpkin pie, chocolate candy, Jesus Christ, and nothing pleased me more than you. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Honey. 
Legit na, legit na. Pare. Hindi ko rin akalain na mag, magpapakasal kami kasi we're really different. Sa lahat, lahat, lahat ng bagay. As in, sa perception namin sa buhay, how we do things. Parang magkaiba talaga kami. She's uh, career-oriented, goal-oriented. So, if she sets her mind into something, she'll, she'll do everything to achieve it. I'm happy that finally we're getting married already. She's very loving. She, ano, she, she can give you this, a, a kind of love that only her can give. Yun yung best way to describe yung love ni Tintin. Through the jungle, through the dark, girl, I never love one like you. When we when we hit the the seven year mark, I, I think we already experienced, or I think I already saw everything that I needed to see, and to find out everything I needed to find out about her. So I was already sure. And that is why all of us are here this afternoon, Carmelo and Mary Christine. We are all here. To witness, and not only to witness, but to celebrate because of your love to each other. Over the past 10 years, our, our stories about overcoming struggles, overcoming adversity. It was about, it's about defying the odds. I don't know, more, more than success. I, I call this day more than a success because sobrang dami nating pinagdaanan. I don't know, mixed emotions. I'm just grateful, I'm just happy that finally we'll be able to push through with our wedding. I would have thought that I will marry the guy that I accidentally bumped into last December 18, 2011. From the strangers to lifetime partners, you are my best friend, enemy, therapist, and masahista forever. I used to insist my version of the story, but the truth is, it doesn't matter anymore. Because I'm just grateful that in that crowded party at the lounge, Tomas Morato, I met you. Thank you for loving my family like your own. I am truly blessed to have you. I'm excited to travel the world with you. Di ko na ulit mararanasan mag-travel mag-isa kasi anjan ka na. I'm sure we will have an amazing life together with our future children. I vow to allow you to be your best and to step back when I interfere with your well-being. I vow to listen to what isn't said and be a safe space for your vulnerability. I'm sure we will have an amazing life together with our future children. You will be a responsible hus husband and a father. Because there is no one we'd rather fight, argue, and take on this journey with, but with each other. I love you.
maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat ng pumunta dito sa wedding namin to my magsaysay family, my Paris family, Castro family, friends, um, colleagues, my Metrobank family. Thank you so much, our Ninongs and Ninangs. Um, we really appreciate for the efforts and we will have an after party if you want to drink and get drunk. Stay. <laughs> And of course, sorry pahabol. To my now Navarro family, thank you so much for accepting me. I know I'm really a complicated woman, but still, parang tinanggap niyo po ako ng buong buo. So thank you so much. I think there are moments in life when, uh, when you can't put the words in the happiness. I just want to It has been postponed, I think, three or four times already. So, we thought we didn't have to do it. From Zambales to Tagaytay to Manila, finally! So, thank you so much, everyone! Ayan, so... Again, it was postponed three times. And when finally everything was set, three days ago, we were informed that there are political rallies nearby. So imagine the imagine the stress, imagine the the preparations we had to do. But it, it was all worth it. Uh, seeing everyone, uh, being able to gather everyone for this uh, occasion for us big for our big day, it was all worth it. Uh, I'd like to thank uh, family team, uh, Tito Manny, Tita Christina. Thank you, thank you so much for for accepting me. Also to the siblings of Kim and their relatives and since day one, uh, and I never felt my back of anything. I'm grateful for that. Uh, to my friends, uh, to my friends, relatives, and uh, colleagues, thank you so much for the support. Kahit na COVID season, never, uh, none, none of you told me na nag-aalangan kayo kung muna. So I really appreciate it. My, to my parents. Thank you so much. I know uh, your marriage is a, it's a testament, man. Uh, it, it put God in the center. Nothing is impossible. So I will love them the same way you love each other. It's not going to be I will take care of her the same way. Take care of her. That's my assurance. Yeah, sabi nga nito yun. We still have time. Pwede pa tayong malasing. So, we hope to see you sa after party. Thank you very much everyone for coming here. Thank you to our suppliers. Thank you, thank you to our suppliers. Sobrang sagaan nyo. Nakailang cancel kami pero nasan pa din kayo. Thank you to our... Very generous principal sponsors. I'm not saying one by one, so this event would not be possible without you. So again, thank you very much. And yeah, let's get drunk. <laughs>